Welcome to the course on Computer Laboratory 7. In this particular video, we will see how to implement association rule mining in R. Here, we will be using a grocery dataset. So, these are the requirements for implementing the assignments. We will require R 3.4 or higher and uh, integrated development environment such as R Studio 1.1 or higher and the library package A rules. Okay, let us start with the implementation. Here I have already prepared a script file with the comments so that you will understand the important steps to be performed. So first step is to import the necessary libraries. So we will implement import a rules. Then we will read the dataset groceries in the available package. So the command is data groceries. Then we will apply a priori algorithm to find the association rules on the dataset and the specified support is 0.001 and the confidence is of 0.5. So the command to implement the algorithm is a priori. The first parameter is grocery and the second we will supply the list of parameters such as support is equal to 0.001 and confidence is equal to 0.5. Then we will also specify how to control the output. So here we will say that verbose is equal to false. Now when we will have all those rules, there can be some redundant rules as well. So in the next step, we will eliminate all the rules that are redundant. So we will apply a simple logic over here. So we'll find out all the rules that are quite common. So we'll say a variable set subset rules. So here we will use the command which it will return which columns or column numbers is having the redundant rules. So is dot subset is the command which will give you if the count is greater than one, it means that it is a redundant rule. And then we'll eliminate all those rules, all those rows that are having redundant rules. So we'll apply again a simple command. So rules is equal to rules, and then eliminate minus subset rules means all select all the rules, all those rules except those are redundant. Now we will accept the required input from the user such as the item to be uh, searched, the minimum support and the minimum confidence and we will use those parameters in the command and then we will find out the rules that will lead to the specified input. So first of all we will read the item to be searched as item x and min sub is the variable where we will read the minimum support from the user and read line will give you the input in the string format so let us convert it, it into the number with the as dot numeric function and since like that we will read mean confidence so as dot numeric Red line enter minimum confidence. In the next step, we will apply the a priori command with the specified input. So again, rules is equal to a priori. Data set is groceries. And parameters we will specify as sub is equal to min sub and confidence is equal to min confidence.
and we will also control the output so appearance is equal to list now we will specify that the item to be on the left hand side of the rule and so the default is left hand side and the right hand side of the rule This will give you that the item will be on the right hand side so which will give you that what had influence that purchasing of the specified item now we will sort the rules according to the confidence value so the command is sort rules and by is equal to confidence the column on which you want to sort and we'll decide whether you want it to do descending or ascending order so decreasing is equal to true which will give you in ascending order and then we'll print it using the inspect command inspect rules underscore com we will now also see that what are the other items that had that are purchased along with the specified item by the users so again we'll use the a priori algorithm to find out the list of items so the data set is groceries parameters are the min soup and min confidence so support is equal to min soup that is entered by the user and confidence is equal to min confidence that is also specified by the user and now we will specify the number of items to be available in the rule so here we will say that mean length is equal to 2 means there should be at least 2 items in the rule and now appearance here we want default is equal to RHS because we want to see the list of items that are purchased along with the specified item so default is RHS and LHS is equal to left, left hand side is equal to the item we have specified and then to control the output we say the control parameter is purpose is equal to false and again we will sort all the rules on confidence using the command sort in the descending order and we will print it using the inspect command so head will give you the first six rules and in step number five we will get the list of the rules that had influenced that item let us run it So you can run it from the run tab or you can type the command as source and the name of the file. Once you run it, you will ask to enter the item. So here I specify whole milk and the minimum support is 0 0.001, minimum confidence is 0 0.05. And then we get the list of rules. So as you can see, the first is the left hand side and the right hand side is whole milk so these are the items that had influence buying the whole milk and the second part is the left hand side is whole milk and the right hand side is giving some items so these are the items that are purchased with the whole milk and as you can see the output is organized arranged on the confidence value you can see all the confidence values and it is in the decreasing order 
so these are the requirements thank you for watching my video if you have any queries and suggestions please feel free to write to me thank you